In an attempt to defend themselves, the Rochester couple who threw the party that a black Rochester firefighter attended and called racist held the news conference today. Their Nicholas and Mary Nicosia and their lawyer called the party political but not racist. Adam Chodak has been covering this story from the very beginning. He joins us now to tell us what they had to say. Adam? Natalie, John, thank you. For the past two weeks, we've heard about the complaint from Rochester firefighter Jared Jones, who says his captain forced him and two other firefighters to attend a racist Juneteenth spoof party. Well, today, the prominent couple behind that party came out saying there was nothing racist about it. Mary Nicosia said it was her party for around a dozen people, and her husband was just playing host. They confirmed they had Juneteenth signs and cups, along with KFC chicken, and they were giving out cognac. But they maintained the decor and the food and the beverage were all playful or random and did not constitute a theme. Jones held his own news conference last week where he said he felt uncomfortable immediately, but the Nicosias claim everyone at the party treated him with respect. Both of them went on to blame cancel culture for the aftermath of this. Dr. Nicosia, a dentist, stepping down from the Highland Hospital board and losing patients, and Mary Nicosia being suspended from the Landmark Society. The allegations of this narrative have caused my family almost unbearable pain. To see our entire world collapse in a matter of hours was bewildering. It was like a bad dream. In support of their argument that the party was political, they displayed photos of the Democratic lawmakers. They lampooned at the party, including City Council Member Mary Lupian and County Legislator Rachel Barnhart. So no apology for the party, but Mary Nicosia did apologize for her Twitter account, which she acknowledged spread racist messages in the past. I have reached out to Jared Jones' attorney today, and he told me that he's not going to have a comment, adding they spoke for themselves. Natalie? Adam, thank you. The Nicosias say they are exploring legal action. Jones has already filed paperwork saying he intends to sue the city of Rochester as well as the Rochester Fire Department.